So the Metavo 36 volt saw, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Do you really need this saw? Watching Top Gun, by the way. And I just thought I would make a video on this. I cleaned it up to put it in here. It does stay clean. I do keep it clean because I love cleaning my tools. I love, I love having clean tools. You, I love having organized, clean tools. I just can't get enough of having clean tools. Nice clean tools, you know. Clean them up after every job. They'll stay looking new for a long time. You know, all you gotta do is get in there and, and brush it all out. You know, I've had this saw for a good while and it still looks clean and i use it a lot i don't use it every day but i use it a lot and when i do use it i use it a lot in the whole day the whole week so i have it here set up on a compound miter inverted inverted whatever you <laughs> you know it, it's it is what it is it, it, it's a good little song is it worth it I love the brand. I think the brand puts out great tools. When they came out with the 36 volt, the multi-volt, they, they hit a home run. They hit a home run because they made the tools better. You know, they're, they're well engineered. They have good machining. You know, I'm big on machining, on finishes. They have good finishes. I could go without the green, honestly. If they had it all in black, even purple, whatever plum the green that doesn't do it so much for me but hey it is what it is uh, this but as far as the rest of the stuff yeah they have they have good good finishes uh you know like the surface is here yeah there this one's a little scratched up i've been using it i've had it for a while so yeah it's not gonna be perfect it ain't gonna be perfect you know the bevels feel pretty nice Nothing too fancy. And let me let me let me unlock the button because I had it locked into where it was, it won't stay. Okay, let me open it the other way. Let me lock you with the hand. I know my guys. Get it off the cuff. One handed, no cameraman today. So that's the lock. Nothing fancy. You can go both ways. You can go right or left on the miter. You do have to take the fences off. If you wanna do the the miter to the right, you do have to take it off. You know, a lot of people might say, oh, it's a little, it's a little chimpsy, it's a little loose. It doesn't feel solid, solid. And maybe it ain't, but it's accurate enough for the stuff that I do. You know, trim work, crown molding, you know, cutting uh, stuff for shelves. I do shelves and stuff like that. Uh, I build out pantries. This thing has a good cut capacity for shelving. It will cut all the shelving I need. There you go. Look at that capacity. Look at that cut capacity. It's really good. Right now I got a 40 tooth blade. I could get a better one. I know I probably should. But 40 tooth been going, you know, doing pretty good. But I can get a 60 tooth for it, seven and a quarter, and it would do fine. It would do just exactly what I need. And I know, I know. This might sound like a commercial for your Metabo, it's not. You know, I paid with my hard-earned money for this all. And I got it when it was cheaper. Um, and by cheaper, I mean the 800 range because this saw is, I don't know, listed at like $1,300. When I saw that, I'm like, would, would I spend the money on that? And, the, you know, the devil side on, you know, on the, on the right side, said buy it the broke angel on the left said you don't need it and i said and i listened to the little devil in me and i said yeah, i'm gonna get it and so right now this is my little green bay um uh, miter station and no i'm not a green bay fan but you know it kind of goes with the theme with the green and the yellow dewalt has one of the best stands by far like they're just they're lightweight they're easy to fold and they're sturdy enough and they're just user friendly they are so that's my review on that that's buy these if you get a good cheap one buy it so the way i like to run this one uh, i could use a smaller battery 2.5 or the 4.0 they both work great got the light here 
the light has different modes if you want to look at that see both sides one side the other side off both sides one side other side off so pretty cool nothing crazy it's not a shadow line it doesn't give you the shadow line effect to cut it won't give you that because the light has to be in the middle but it does give you enough let's use the laser the laser is no lasers are are good accurate and true on any miter saw they just don't stay true that is the truth but they give you a good reference point and here i'll let you see this i'm just kind of moving it along here real slow we'll put it on the bottom of the numbers it's it's decent but it's just a reference point it's a reference point to get you kind of going and once you bring your blade down to the material that's when you should make your judgment and that's why it's beautiful to have blade left but this the lasers on miter saw should be outlawed they should be they shouldn't make them anymore with lasers it's kind of pointless lights all day it's good to have a little light but it's good to have a shadow line uh, you know the blade the blade line you know you see the you see the blade you see the line you see the you know that's always going to be better the shadow the line to get a a good blade sight that's always going to be the best and even those aren't as accurate but they give you more of a better chance of the blade will be there kind of you know kind of thing knob real quick knob is good detents here it has in degrees your normal clicking degrees zero and then it goes all the way to 45 there and then over here it has them engraved into the machine and i want to say these are like metric over there you know what they use in europe and stuff like that i have no idea what that is we're from america and we're just hey 45 that's it give me a 22 and a half that's half of 45 keep it simple i don't know that's just what we that's what we do down here in the states the trigger i like to grab it from the top use my thumb to depress the safety and the trigger with my middle finger i find it to be easier to plunge into the cut that way so yeah the rails are super smooth super smooth you know they're 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 like glass just smooth rails even when you have sawdust on this it's still smooth and easy i love it i will never say that they have sticky rails because they don't this saw has really smooth rails they feel real makita like they, they really do uh, makita has some good rails as well um, the deflection on it feels like it's very minimal if any you know all my cuts seem to be fine you know and then there's also the whole caulk and paint to make it what it ain't i don't know don't live by those rules but sometimes <laughs> certain materials come you know with crowns in them and twists and all kinds of stuff and it just kind of it's kind of where it starts from but anyways don't live by caulk and paint to make it what it ain't don't live by those rules just do good work guys do the best work you can this is this is a saw not for the starting carpenter this is a saw for a carpenter who has been in the trade for a while and wants quality tools you know show up to a job site and you want a quality tool like when when people see this when i get off they're like wow that's a nice toy it's not a toy but you know homeowners are homeowners and they're gonna say what they're gonna say but you know just as a reference point i like it and homeowners like i said they say they call it a toy or whatever i mean to to us to us guys that are in the trades you know we, we do see them kind of as toys but for grown men you know just like we call sawdust man glitter you know it's you know we put little nicknames on things the detents are cool and it goes it goes more one way than the other it'll actually do i think it's 53 degrees if i'm not mistaken and then 
because you, you see the cutout and has a deeper cutout this way than it does this way. This way it only does a 45. It stops there at 45. This one, yeah, it's 53 degrees. It goes to 53 to the right. I never really cut that that much. If I gotta cut this much, I'm, I gotta cut way more than that. And I'll use, you know, a saw and a guide. But yeah, there it is. Should you buy it? I mean, it just depends. I mean, if you if you like a quality seven and a quarter saw, it's I've had the Milwaukee seven and a quarter. This beats it out of the water. I've had the Dewalt seven and a quarter. This beats it out of the water. And I've had a Bosch eight and a half. The Bosch eight and a half was not too bad, but this still beats it. The Bosch has more cut capacity. What I want to get next is the Makita 40 volt, eight and a half. That's the one I'm after. And I want to have saws that are blade forward just because they're more compact. They're easier to put on the truck. And I feel that you can make this design, this arm a lot more rigid, having the blades forward than having just a thick block with your rails that push outward. And your saw is not riding on rails, it's pushing rows. It's locked into, let's say, it would be locked in here, and it's pushing rows, and only guiding through a little inch and a half of material. I, I think this is this is better. It's a better system. It's a proven system, so I, I think it's better. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I, I like it. Uh, it's kind of a long video. I'm sorry, guys, but there, and I know I miss features. There, there's so many more things on it. The lightweightness of it that's freaking awesome you know easy to transport put in your truck on the back seat of the truck easy you got a van even easier uh, a trailer easy you know storage capacity isn't too bad i mean if you look at it i always store it like this at an angle and look at how how compact it is real nice real nice Miter song. I like it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like, subscribe if you want to see more tool videos. I'm going to try to be more active on YouTube. I want to, you know, interact with everybody and, and show tools and, and give you guys good footage on tools that deserve to be seen because maybe you want to buy it. And I want to help you spend money. I want to help you spend the money. Don't tell your wife, you know, when you get it out of the box, you know. Get yourself and kind of give it a little bit of some scratch marks. Throw a little bit of man glitter on there and be like, babe, I've had it for a long time. You just never noticed. And that's, that's, that's a good lie right there. All right, guys. Have a good one.